Here we have the CSEC Mathematics January 2025 paper. Question 1a says using a calculator or otherwise determine the value of and it gives two thirds of one eighth plus five twelfths divided by one ninth, giving your answer in exact form. <coughs> Let's see how this goes. I had copied it over here. Alright. So Let's work it out. And by the way, remember, you must make an attempt at the question before you watch my solutions to the question. Alright? <coughs> now, you have a plus and a divide here. Now, in the order of priority, you will do the division first. So you have 5 twelfth <coughs> divided by 1 9. Now, you can re write this also as 5 twelfth over 1 9. Now remember, when you are dividing a number by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that fraction. So this is the same as 5 twelfths multiplied by, instead of 1 over 9, it's 9 over 1 now. Alright? Um, this can be written as 5, if you would break up the 12 into two parts, you can say 3 times 4. <coughs> two numbers that multiply to give 12, alright? Multiply by 9 is 3 times 3 over 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So you can consider these 3 as having well. cancelled each other. So what we have is 5 fourth multiplied by 3 over 1. When you multiply the two fractions, numerator by numerator, which is 5 by 3, which is 15 divided by denominator over denominator, which is 4 by 1. 15 over 4, alright? Now you have 1 eighth. 1 eighth of. Of means multiply, so you'll find 1 eighth. 1 eighth of 5 fourth. In other words, 1 eighth of 5 quarters. Again, top by top. 5 times 1 is 5 over 8 fourths, 32. But then what are you supposed to do with it? Oh, my mistake, my mistake. Let's look back at that part. We had 5 quarters multiplied by 3 over 1 which gives us 15 fourths. Alright. What you're supposed to do is have 1 8 plus this part. 1 8 plus this part which amounts to 15 fourth. Alright. I had multiplied it earlier. I was looking at this part. Alright, so 1 8 plus 15 over 4. 1 over 8 plus 15 over 4. Now, you can use a method of drawing the line and finding the LCM of 8 and 4. But let's use common denominators. <coughs> that means you want a number over the same number. Alright, 1 8 plus something over 8. Or it could be 15 fourth plus something over 4. But it's easier to have the number increase. 4 increase to 8. So you multiply 4 by 2. If you multiply 4 by 2 down the bottom, you must also multiply 15 by 2 up top. Remember, 2 into 2 is 1. So the number will look different. But it's like you're multiplying by 1. Alright, so the value of the number remains the same. So this becomes 1 8 plus 15 2 is 30 divided by 4 2 is 8. 
Now, <clears throat> 1 8th plus 38th. It's somewhat like this. 1 times 1 8th plus 30 times 1 8th. All right? So it's as if you're saying 1 8th outside the bracket, 1 plus 30. So it's 31 8th. 31 over 8, right? So, like you just add the numbers up top and put it over 8. So it's 31 8. So you have 31 8 here. Alright? And you are to give the answer in the exact form, which will be this. Okay, so it's 31 8 for that part. Remember, I'm working it out in detail, step by step, and taking longer than you would expect to do in the exam. Alright? <clears throat> now, this. 314 minus 26,082 over 52,164, giving your answer in standard form. Alright, so let me copy paste it over here where did it go? alright let's drag it down here and work it out so <coughs> you have this fraction here to work out you would use a calculator and work it out, right? Make sure you have your scientific calculator. Now, <coughs> I'm going to just use my calculator off the air. Alright? I have a calculator here. I have, it says giving your answer in standard form. Alright? 26082 divided by 52, 164 equal 0 0.5. So this is 314.2 minus 0 0.5. So 314.2 minus that gives us 313.7. Alright? 313.7. Now, <coughs> you are to give the answer in standard form. The standard form here that they use is scientific notation. All right. So you're going to have the first non-zero digit when you're looking from the left to the right. Then the point. Then the other digits, one, three, seven. But notice, three hundred and thirteen point seven. It's larger than 3.137. How much times larger? In other words, what must I multiply this by to get it back to this? If I move the point one, two places to the right, it's like multiplying by 100, all right? But remember, standard form says you multiply by 10 to a power. 100 is 10 to the power of 2. 10 squared gives 100. So that's your answer in standard form. Alright? So, there you go. Answer to question 1A1. That I got is 31 over 8. <coughs> to 1A1. 1A2, I mean. It's 3.137 by 10 squared. No. Um, if you see me, ha, ha, if you watch any video that I do and see me make any mistake, just let me know. All right. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video where we'll continue working it out.